Hi, it's Ray Mills, your VBA craftsman. In this brief video, I'm going to help you use the VLOOKUP tool to help us build a, set, a budget for the new dialysis wing in our local hospital. Over here on the right, we have a list of the positions, their titles, the range of the salary, their average salary, and either annually or at hour. And uh, we're going to use the VLOOKUP to find what we need. Okay, so let's start out. Equals V look up. I prefer to just type it in because I'm very familiar with VLOOKUPs. And what are we going to look up? We're going to look up the HS number, right? And then where are we going to look it up? We're going to look it up in this table here. And we exclude the headers. They don't help us. And you should note that this is sorted in uh, ascending order. That's what they require. Okay, the A2 to E12 is our table we're looking it up in but we don't want to we don't want it to change as we copy it down so we use the absolute address and we do that by pressing the F4 key when we select it so that puts those dollar signs in and locks those so as we copy it down B4 will become B5 B6 B7 but the this portion will not change because it does not change okay so then we want to say what column do we want to look well I want their annual salary so if it's one two three Four, five, five columns over five. Okay, and the comma and the approximate match. No, we want the absolute match, right? Close it, and that's the salary for one person. Mm, that's problem. If that's the salary for one person, home. Um, uh, I really want the salary for five people, right? So let's change this to say. And multiply it how many are he's requesting. How many are they are requesting over here, the budget director? And, okay, there we go. That's the salary for five, for five people. We copy it down. Hey, but I don't want the dollar sign. I want that dollar sign. I want the dollar form. So let's just go over here and say, uh, let's just say copy. Let's just say pay special. Just an, I'm just showing you something to pick up on if you have not familiar with it. Form, uh, we want formats. We say, okay. So then, there it goes. Now we have a nice dollar format. It looks pretty good, okay? Um, so, oh, the position. Oh, we've got this wrong. We wanted the position title first. So how do we change that? We just get rid of that. And we didn't want to go to five. We wanted to go to two. Position salary. Oh, that's better. There we go. And now let's do the same thing, but this time let's look up the salary correctly. B look up. What are we looking up? Oops. Typing counts. Looking up the HSP number. Where are we looking it up? Comma. Where are we looking it up? Right here. How are we locking it? By hitting the F4 key. What column are we looking up? One, two, three, four, five. Five. We want it to be the the exact much, right? Close it. Yep. Oh, but we want it to be multiplied times how many? The number that the, the budget director said we needed. Okay. We already have our formula in for 35% of the cost of budget, so we add it in. It looks like it's going to cost us a million three hundred and sixty-seven thousand to staff that budget. Now, how did we do it again? Let's go over this. So, we looked up the HSP number, because that was the column to the very left, and we returned the second column, which was the certified nurse. Then we went over to uh, for this, and then we did the same thing, but we returned the fifth column for this, the annual salary. So that's the way you use a, the lookup. Okay, having done it for a long time, I'll give you some hints. Be very careful. Um, sometimes... There could be an unwanted character in your lookup. So if you're looking at HSP, it has to find an exact match for HSP 122. So if this HSP 122, now watch, I'm just going to put a space there. Let's see what happens. Oh, that NA says it didn't find it. So this has to be a clean number over here. No spaces, no nothing. Now, I can tell you also that if they're not the same format, if one is text and one is dollars, you could all, and one is text and one is a number, you could also run into a problem. So 
Keep that in mind. Other than that, it's usually a very useful and easy to use tool. Thanks. Oh, by the way, if you would like to le learn more about Excel, VBA, please visit my website, excelandvbacraftsman.com. Thanks so much.